interesting. Like like they were actually physically repaired. Strange. Okay. Uh, I go about using press digitation to clean everything in my room. Because the, uh, I can. Dro and the other drow mage from uh, the stone halls come over mm -hmm. and also start helping, kind of asking questions and such. The, the hall hey, and Drew, your up? room are well cleaned. And he's like, um, I'm actually going to go back to my room and just get into my tunic real quick. Because um, I am currently wearing a sheet. <laughs> he doesn't really question what the hell happened last night. Because you guys have brought home some strange things in the past. Um, I don't want to know. Just let me help clean it up. <laughs> GG. Kind of knock, knock on Elba's door and I'm like, hey buddy, wake up. Breakfast. Kind of groggily comes to the door and is like, uh, yeah, sure. I'll be be down in a little bit. Okay. Um, hey, bud. Um, we're going out for missions and stuff and things today. Um, yeah, help around the inn. I'll throw I'll throw twenty five gold. We are away for daily pay. Wow, you're generous. Hey, you he know, and says I'll I'll be down a little bit faster then. If you pay a thief, they stick around. It may very well be. So the uh, the stone holes kind of seem like they're packing up, and after a little bit, they uh, the whole party kind of heads downstairs. And says we've got a mission, and we're headed out. Oh, okay. Have fun, Jane. Bye, guys. Stay safe. They uh, they say their goodbyes, and it's it's a pretty quick leave. They uh, they pack light. By the way, musical. If, for just information, the top thing is the first floor. The bottom one is the second floor. Just as mm -hmm. a, just so you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So with everything clean except the interior of my bag. Yeah. Only um, only take out the things that we really really need out of it and leave the rest here for now. Is that, why leave, why leave the rest are. here? What's up? Why leave the rest here? I just... The fact oh, that the blood's coating everything really disconcerts me. Hmm. It might have some sort of magical who's it, what's it on it. If There's... you want to roll Arcana, you are more than welcome to analyze okay. for maja majagical. Majagical. Majagical things. <laughs> majagical things, alright, I'm sure. We don't know if the blood cursed everything or, or what it did. The blood seems actually magical in nature. But it seems like it's magical in nature of creation, not in any other form. It is also not unicorn blood. <laughs> okay. It, so we're good then. It seems like a strange conjuration of blood it doesn't seem to actually have any sort of okay. other properties so so the the blood coated irons are just dirty they're not cursed or anything yeah they're just they're just dirty as hell okay we can clean those up then all right then all right then... i'm gonna take my bag downstairs and get some breakfast cool um and yeah um once i meet alba down there for breakfast um i put uh i put 12 gold uh, into his purse for for daily whatever who's it what's it he wants to spend. I give the rest tonight. Um, help around. Seriously, the you are really generous with that. Hey 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 hey! I'm keeping him around. Isn't isn't twenty five gold like enough to retire on? Um, Not. I, I don't. I mean, I think you could live off of it for a while. Um, if you're not living up a fancy lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, Aubridge wanders out and asks, what's, what's all the noise upstairs about? I sort of got attacked last night, I think. Are you okay? You look fine. I'm not <laughs> sure. I feel fine. What's the other guy look like? He left. Oh. 
I would say it's a good thing that he's completely gushing blood everywhere, but I don't think that was actually any injury. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the half orc kind of also like stumbles out, kind of looks at Aubridge, looks looks at you, like I fish uh, out my wallet, which is like drizzling blood, and kind of hold it at arm's length over the table. He takes the long, the uh, tape. He is what? Sorry. He he takes the long way around the table after seeing you pull out a <laughs> blood-soaked bag of coins and just sits in his little chair that he's he's managed to acquire. Okay. I'm just like you might need some food. And heads into the kitchen. You hear a uh, a loud kick on a cabinet door and a goblin swearing. <laughs> the usual around here. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Morning things. All right. Uh, so, yeah. where is... so once once I finish talking to Alba, um, I'm gonna head to uh, um, <sighs> um I head got down. carried that game. Now it rose and everybody else is awake. Uh, yes. No. John mentions that Rose is gonna sleep in the night. Don't or this morning, and not to really bother. And he goes cool. to his his normal position. Cool. Um, a couple a couple of the people from uh from the cheap room is gonna come out and. Doing their morning routine. Most of them are sitting at least a table or two away from Alexandra's, who's cleaning a lot of blood off of her stuff. As they don't, they're not curious. They're just, they don't want to get killed either. <laughs> um, and I and I go over to John and I'm like, hey buddy, um, Elba's gonna be sticking around for a while. I I think it can be of some use around here. I've noticed, especially like looking over at Alexandria. We've we've been having some security problems lately, and Alba's really good at, at keeping watch over stuff, so maybe I'm just going to have him as an extra pair of eyes around here just to keep everybody safe. Hey, you know, it's, yeah. you're going to be the employer. I don't have the authorization from Baron to actually allow any more okay. employees. Fair. Rasha isn't around to contact him either. So. Okay, I'm I'm just letting you know that he's going to be sticking around, and he's being paid enough money not to take anything. Mm -hmm. I trust that. No worries. But uh, <sighs> big old half orc <laughs> son of a bitch would probably take him out anyway. Right, <laughs> right, right. After after seeing how well uh, Merzel and and uh, Arbridge, uh can get it on in combat, I'm more than more than fit that if Elba tries anything stupid, they'll put they'll adjust him accordingly. <laughs> Man, you actually figured out the half orc's name. Um, That's interesting. Well, it's popular. I heard a lot about somebody when they're held toward at somebody's face. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. <laughs> I do, uh, I do oh. my daily morning ritual of, you know, plates of bacon and eggs and pancakes and sausage. <laughs> Food is prepared. And you know, it comes out slowly due to the fact that they've only got one person working in the kitchen at the well, two technically working in the kitchen at the moment. Actually, I had it in there to Aubridge. Somewhat like, ironically, hey. the sausage is blood sausage. Blood sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I head into Aubridge and I'm like, um, do you need me to run to the storeroom and grab some supplies and stuff for you? I was like, no, no. After after yesterday, you you deserve a rest. Oh, no worries. I don't mind helping. No, no, it's uh, it's fun. Quick question: What was the paladin leader dude? Ty something? Um, Tavris. Tavris, that's right. Oh, my new best friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. I have plans for him. Um, I'm I'm seeing you wipe off. I I keep getting getting you clean rags, uh, Alex. I don't need clean rags. Oh, I am just a your... mage. <gasps> Mages need no rags, but a What's simple press presentation. You pu pull out an Clean. item, wave your hand. <laughs> pull out another, wave your hand. <laughs> wax on, wax off. <laughs> okay. The You're party will take a while because there's so many coins in there. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, they, they currently move downstairs, and you made sarcastic comments about getting dressed, getting armed, and getting food. Said the suit of armor. Yeah. Yep. 
So, yep. um, food comes out slowly and very well, well made. It's it's not as good as Rose is managed normally, but mm -hmm. Arbridge is still the a pretty decent cook. The bacon, the bacon's a little crunchier than normal, but I'm dealing. <laughs> um, and also you see a, uh, Aaron, you see a fellow in a purple, purple large cloak and a very large hood kind of float in basically. And head Is it the towards... same guy from yesterday? It does look a lot like the same guy from yesterday. Uh, Inka sort of gets up and takes a defensive position behind um, uh, the Mistress of Lies, Alex. I, I kind of narrow my eyes at him, but go back to cleaning my shit. He goes up to John, seems to be talking to him. I'm like right there. Can I hear their conversation or no? Uh, he seems to be ordering food. Alright, alright. Now, do, do I know Mr. Floaty Guy? I've been in that, queue for uh, 4 minutes and 40 seconds um, now. You were around for Mr. Floaty Fellow. I was not around for Mr. Floaty Guy. Okay. Um, I am knee deep in bacon and eggs. He um, is moving, however, a lot differently than he was yesterday. As he's still kind of walking with that same kind of flow to him, but he he's definitely being a bit more. Um jagged in his movements, I'd want to say. But that's not really a good word for it. And he takes a seat over by the, uh, like the, the corner. Corner. Hmm. I'm gonna roll an insight check. See if he looks suspicious. <laughs> He does look rather suspicious due to just the way he's been kind of moving around the uh, the area. Can I do a perception check on him? Uh, what are you looking for? How well <laughs> he'd go if I hit him with a sword? That'd be more of an investigation, but yeah. Okay you can, then, investigation. You can investigation. He, he, what, he's investigating the with the sharp end of a sword? I, I notice how intently um, Alex is, is looking at this guy, and I'm kind of... It's one of those things to where it's the choo-choo turn? You, you think if you had a good hit, you probably could get the hood of his, uh, his cloak also disconnected from the rest of it, so... And the is contents of said hood. just kind of goes, hmm, yes, carry the three. And right now is when Jin yeah. comes it's, staggering kind of back up, in. With my voice low, trying to avoid letting anybody you know. Have a delay like, on your stream? letting anybody with the party yes. know. It's like... Why? He was... Ah, uh, because that's the way it works. People he was can't ghost you. Reading my quote-unquote fortune last night before I got attacked. Okay. And I come over to the table... And now, now wow, Alex, said, why do you reek of blood? Is he just kind of coated in va bad vibes? Um, he's definitely doesn't seem natural to be sitting like that in that kind of way. Okay. Alright. Um, I look at the gin. Something conjured blood all over all of my stuff. And my clothes. I'm still working on it. And my armor. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. He, I he, anchor. he he was cleaned by uh by the duo of Drow. Oh okay, never mind. Ooh, kinky. Now I'm extra clean. Got yeah. a bit of a lost stuff showing. God damn it! Yay! Farted, 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 farted. That's that's nasty. I'm not into that. Oh yeah, damn I it. don't know how it right now. So. No, oh, why not? So uh, we believe you. So what is the plan at the moment? Uh, I'm standing here debating whether or not I can kill a bloke. Entirely I'm bad. sitting away from the eating dragonborn, not wanting to get swept up in the food. <laughs> I slide over a plate of food, you know, with bacon and eggs and everything, and I'm like, here, yeah, bud, we gotta get going. I, of course, wave it off. No, I had plenty last night. <laughs> 
I move around and sit in the nature and portion for him. <laughs> 